with regards to separation, we think it's important that you separate the inputs, the calculations, and the reports. So in this case, you'll see we happen to have done it on one sheet, where there's an input section, there's a calculation section, and a report section. You could, of course, do it over three sheets, so perhaps input, output, and calculation, or many sheets. The key here is that it's easy for a user to know that as long as they fill in all of these inputs, the calculations will run and the reports will be generated. By doing this as well, you allow people to understand your calculations, so you can actually follow what's happening and see how it's working. And your reports are probably on a separate page so that it's made print friendly. Just some other tips with regards to separation. We believe it should be very clear to users what they can work on and what they shouldn't touch. So what we like to do is to fill our cells with a color. We use light blue. And what this means is that the user can only fill in cells in the light blue section. Now we recommend you use light colors because what you'll see is if you use dark colors, for example a red, when you print it out in black and white you struggle to actually read what numbers are in there. We also think that it's better that you fill the entire cell as opposed to coloring the characters because we think it's a lot easier to spot where the inputs are in this case than if they're just a uh, colored blue for example. Especially when someone has gone and deleted that. The same situation in this case. We think it's easier to spot that there's something missing there than to hopefully spot that something is missing here. If we just go back here, even if you have used good practice and you split it up and you've used the colors, we also recommend you protect the sheets even if you don't use a password. Because one of the big problems with Excel is if I click on this cell here, there's quite a distance for my eye to travel from the formula to the cell. So if I'm not looking, I can easily think that's an input, and for example, type 200. And now, what used to be a formula is now an input, which can undo it. Whereas if I put protection on, same thing, I can come here, I can change that one if I want, because it's a input that's allowed. But even if I'm not looking and I accidentally try and change this one, you can see immediately you get warned. So it's just ways to make sure that your spreadsheet is protected from accidental overwriting of your formulas.